Yeah, in today's video I'm going to show you how to change the controls on the Sony PSP or Sony PlayStation Portable emulator using the R36S handheld video game console using Arc OS. So let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is press start. And next thing you want to do is go to emulation emulator settings, press A, go to Sony PSP. Sony PlayStation Portable, press A, go to emulator, go to standalone. By default it's on auto, but that's not what you want. You want standalone, you want core to be auto. And go back, press B, go back. Next thing you want is you want a USB C to USB connector so you can hook up a USB keyboard like this which I have done with this USB C to USB adapter connected to the right port on the R36S so now I want to go to PlayStation Portable press A just going to run it run any game, Castlevania, now you'll need the keyboard after this starts up, I'm just going to get past this, press the escape key on the keyboard like that, and that will get you into the emulators settings manual go here use the d-pad to navigate press B that's the action button by default go to control go here to control mapping and you could set all the controls here so I'll be setting it manually some people said that they had a problem with some of the controls so or press B, D-pad up, B, D-pad down, press B and D-pad left, press B, D-pad right. I have this PlayStation control, I'm going to look at this control and configure it accordingly. Press B, circle is A, press B, circle is X, press B, square is Y, press B, triangle is equilateral triangle is X press B start B select left shoulder button B and left shoulder button B and right shoulder button right here analog up here analog down analog left, analog right, analog limiter, so select R2 or something, maybe something like L2, sorry, I'll press that like that, now we're all set, I'll go back, go back, exit menu, want to see if everything was saved. I'm going to go back here. Press escape. I want to go back to controls. Just want to check something. Okay, all the control settings were saved upon exiting the emulator. Let me go back here, back. 
continue to go back into the game. I'm just going to leave. Start select, start select. So that's how you can change the controls on the PlayStation Portable emulator. It's the same thing when you're using other emulators like RetroArch, RetroPark, Re RetroPie, and uh, various others for this emulator. So if you have any thoughts or questions, you can leave it in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.